This is my robot I've been working on for the past year and I'm getting pretty close to finishing it. But it has a problem that when it walks the legs just start vibrating like crazy and he looks like he's about to give a presentation. I tried fixing this by adding a cap which adds friction to each joint so it vibrates less. But the caps aren't strong enough so they just fall off after a few minutes. So that's the issue I'm gonna solve today. This is a part of the leg and this is the cap which adds friction to this joint. It is bolted to this part above it and this cap cannot rotate because if it did it would just unscrew the bolt and fall off. So to stop it from rotating I added this square peg which fits into a square hole and this constrains the movement. The issue I'm having right now is that this square peg is too small so it just snaps and then the cap falls off. This is the old cap and I know it's tiny but the reason I designed it like this is because I didn't want to redesign other parts but uh, since it snaps off I have to do it anyway. And with this part redesigned, I need to make this part bigger and this part bigger as well. I'm not showing it here, but I have to disassemble the whole leg just to change these three parts. It takes about 20 minutes and eventually I'm gonna have to do this for all of the legs, which is six times. So it's gonna be super painful. After changing the leg, I let the robot walk for about 10 minutes just to test out the new cap. And it works real well, the old caps fell off and the new one is still attached. So I'm gonna change all of the legs. I built this robot just for fun, but I think it could actually be useful because it can navigate in tough terrain and climb hills. But this robot has another problem. These feet are terrible. They dig into the ground and they also slip. I originally had a piece of foam seal at the end, but it wasn't strong enough so it just broke. What I want to do is to snip off the tip of the leg and glue a new tip on the leg, which is gonna have a sphere of silicone at the end, so that should get rid of the slipping. I just printed a new tip for the leg, it has a sphere at the end and I'm gonna cast a silicone sphere around it. This should provide better traction and decrease the load of the motors. I'm just playing with the dimensions right now, so this is the third and hopefully final prototype. This is the mold I printed and you can see that when I take the tip of the leg and click it into place, it holds it at the center of the mold. The idea is that I'm gonna take these two parts of the mold and bolt them together. I'm gonna fill up the mold with silicone and then I'm gonna click into place the tip of the leg. So there should be no bubbles in the silicone. The silicone is made by combining two parts A and B and I just realized that my part B is hardened, which it shouldn't be. So I'm just gonna dilute it in some alcohol and see if it works. So as I said, I'm just gonna crush the part B into powder and this will definitely work. It looks like it's getting solid, so I'm gonna pour it into the mold and hope for the best. The silicone still isn't solid. I think the part B is just dead. It probably underwent some reaction and didn't just dry up. So I'm gonna order new silicone and finish the legs in a week or so.